air conditioning maintenance, steroids part I I cleaning the evaporator and condenser remove the filtered front of coil if available and clean filter with water and neutral soap dry with a light jet of compressed air place the filter between the evaporator and the air inlets to protect the water wash the evaporator coil with mild soap and water using a moderate jet of water Replace the filter in between coil and blowers. Remove the fans from the condenser coil. Wash the condenser coil with mild soap and water using a moderate jet of water. Retighten the all mounting bolts of condenser fan with a proper torque wrench. Replacing the electric relay board and temperature sensor. To replace the temperature sensor, disconnect the wiring connector and remove it from the holder. Replace the sensor with another new one of the same model. Replace it in the bracket and reconnect the electrical connectors. To replace the relay board, disconnect the wiring harness. Isolate the power connection to avoid short circuit. Remove all the mounting bolts with a small socket wrench. Replace the plate by another of the same model. Use a torn wrench to apply the same load on the mounting bolts. Reconnect all the harness connectors on relay board. Pump down the gas for maintenance of the low pressure side system. Remove the dead plug from service valve and connect the red charging line of the manifold to discharge valve. Open the service valve of discharge valve on compressor. Open manifold valve for purge the discharge line. Close the red discharge valve of manifold. Connect the blue hose line on compressor at suction valve. Open one fourth turn compressor suction valve to purge the suction hose. Close the blue valve on manifold suction side. Close the service valve on the liquid line of the system at rooftop. Start the vehicle's engine and switch on the air conditioning system. Wait until the system enters into a vacuum and cut off by low pressure. At this time all parts of the line from the low pressure circuit can be replaced. Compressor, low pressure hose, filter dryer, low pressure pipes coils of the evaporator, the expansion valves and defroster if available. After completing maintenance on the low pressure line connect the return hose yellow pipe of manifold on the vacuum pump. Start the vacuum pump and check if the valve is already open. Open the valve of blue suction manifold. After completing the process of vacuum in the system, close the valve of the manifold. Turn off the vacuum pump. Open the service valve on the liquid line of the rooftop system. Start the vehicle's engine and switch on the air conditioning. Close the service valves in suction and discharge of the compressor. Remove the hoses from the manifold. Put dead plugs back. Replacement of the pressure switch. Disconnect the wiring connector from pressure switch. Using two wrenches remove the pressure switch from the compressor body. Replace it with another of the same model. Replace the new pressure switch retightened with recommended to work and reconnect the harness by tying it with a tight clamp. Replacement of compressor run the pump down procedure of the gas for maintenance of the low pressure side system as explained earlier. Close all the service valves. Remove the bolts from top fittings and seal them with a plastic bag to prevent contamination. Cover up the outputs of the compressor with a plastic bag to prevent entry of dust. Disconnect the harness at all points of the compressor. Remove the mounting bolts from the base of the compressor. Remove the compressor and replace it with another of the same model. Reseat all of the mounting bolts and tighten with a torque wrench by applying the torque recommended by the manufacturer.
replace the suction and discharge port using the torque wrench. We connect the wiring harness and secure it with clips. Replacement OF Compressor Oil On a bench loosen the screw of the compressor oil outlet. Tilt the compressor to prevent the oil spillover and remove the spring and the filter. Drain out the used oil into a suitable can. Replace the oil with the quantity recommended by the manufacturer. Replace the spring and the filter. Replace the screw. Tighten with a torque wrench to the recommended to work. Replacement of filter dryer. Repeat the procedure of recollection of gas or maintenance of the low pressure system. Close the service valve of liquid line next to the filter. Using two wrenches loosen the fittings. Loosen the clamp and replace filter or another of the same model. Lubricate the O-rings before repositioning the filter with the same oil used in the air conditioning system. Replace the filter with the arrow pointing to the flow of liquid. Retighten connections using the torque wrench. Replace the expansion valve. Repeat the procedure of recollection of gas or maintenance of the low pressure system. Loosen all the connections connected to valve in the piping. Remove the thermal mass from the evaporator heater to have access to the bulb of the valve. Replace with another of the same model. Lubricate the valve connections with the same oil used in the air conditioning system. Retighten all connections using a torque wrench. Attach the bulb properly in evaporator heater and replace the thermal mass. refrigerant charging in the system. Remove the dev nut from service valve and connect the hoses from the manifold. With the valve of the manifold opened, open one fourth turn the valve of compressor suction port. Connect the return hose from the manifold to the vacuum pump. Start the vacuum pump and check if the valve is already open. Open the valve of blue suction manifold. After completing the process of vacuuming in the system, close the valve of the manifold. Connect the return hose to the refrigerant gas cylinder. Place the cylinder on weight machine and mark the quantity of gas to charge. Open the valve of the cylinder. Slightly loosen the connection of the manifold return yellow pipe to purge the air with the hose and then close again. Open the blue valve of suction manifold and monitor the balance for the refrigerant amount charged. Close the service valves in the compressor and replace the dev nut on service valve. The information on quantities of the recharging of gas in the system can be found in the Spiro's owner's manual.